Hey everybody, I'm John Newbury and welcome to this video on fly tying. Today I'm going to tie for you a drop dead sexy. It's a fly that started off as a waltz worm, became a sexy waltz worm, played with some materials, made a story about Walt's wife Betty and became a Betty's sexy Betty, flaming waltz, so it's kind of all this whole hot, hot bunny thing. So it's a general nondescript pattern I'm going to show you that will concentrate on dubbing techniques and how simple you can make a really easy dubbing body. So join me in a moment, grab yourself a cup of coffee or tea, your pattern list is right here, and we'll get started. So I established my thread behind the eye. A few wraps are going to secure that bead into play. And now I will select some Coke de Leon tail sections. Six to ten fibers. I really just want to create a ballast or a rudder with that. I'll hold it into position, measure the length, and just snap away the stem there. Carefully wind to the tie-off point. I can still measure out and adjust for length. Make sure it's in the right position. And I just return my thread forward and begin tying down the ribbing that I'm going to use. Bring that thread forward. And here's the really important part, wax. You have to use Wonder Wax or a very tacky wax. We're going to wax up a section of this thread. Make sure my hook is secure. And for the body, I'm going to use the UV Squirrel Dub. A little, little amount here is all we're going to need. And I'm going to just touch some of that onto that waxed thread. Just a small amount. As I work my way rearward, I'm hoping to capture a strand or two of that fur to establish my first wrap right there. And then I can spin more dubbing on, twist the dubbing some more, and wrap my way forward all the while maintaining a fairly controlled, tight dubbing noodle there. When I reach the end, I can just peel away the leftovers that I will not need and get that out of the way. That was really easy to do. Just simply apply some wax to the thread a little bit of dubbing onto that waxed thread and work our way forward. Now we'll just rib the tinsel forward. It gives it a nice UV purpley blue reflect. A few strands or a few turns of thread will tie that off. Before I get too involved, I like to dub out the body a little bit using a dubbing tool of your choice. Now we add a little bit more wax to our thread. And we'll take and mix up a dubbing mixture, black and the squirrel. So just mixed up the UV, UV black and squirrel together create a dark spike blend like that and here I'm just gonna stack wraps on top of on top of themselves with very loose wraps capturing kind of like a lint wad of sorts the the collar, thorax, 
few wraps around and then sweep everything out of the way with your fingers. And then scrub away as much of that as you dare. Scrub everything forward. The final step. This is such an easy fly. Spectra 45, just shred out a little bit from the from the container there, the bag. And now with that dubbed on there, sweep everything back and three stacked wraps on top of that. Right there. And then Whip finish and done. Find my whip finisher. I usually do a couple turns at 10 wraps each and liberate that thread. Scrub away a lot. Make it thin again, real buggy. That is a drop dead sexy with a whole lot of UV going on in there. Thanks for joining me and I hope this fly proves productive for you. Let me know how you do with it. Drop me a note in the comment section here, go over onto my website and email me. Thanks for joining me today.